Sounds stupid that we can lie to ourselves, doesn't it? But yes, we can, and we do. You cannot escape from the fact that you lie to yourself. You don't mean to, and sometimes might not realise that you're actually doing it, but we all lie to ourselves about certain things. Coming up are some pointers to help you with this bullshit that we tell ourselves. What's going on guys, Richard Rosa with the Personal Development Channel. Today, I'll be going through some pointers to help you with those little lies that we sometimes tell ourselves. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and if at any point you like what you see, give it a little like. Let's get to it. Plenty of lies can be harmless and maybe beneficial at times, but sometimes instead of shielding you from certain situations you're lying about, you're sabotaging your success by lying. Here are five lies some of us tell ourselves with why you should maybe stop it. The first one, I don't have time. From my personal experience, with myself reflecting back on when I've said this and when others have said it to me, the majority of the time is absolute bullshit. This is the most common lie we are all telling ourselves almost every day. Stop scrolling on your phone, watching DIY videos on YouTube and binge watching TV. Get up, stop making excuses. You do have plenty of time. You are just spending it in so many improper ways. You do not have your priorities straight. So instead of fooling yourself, identify and cut down on your unnecessary activities. Okay, the next one that's coming up is, I will do this tomorrow. This sentiment always turns into never. If you are not doing it today and leaving it tomorrow, then this tomorrow is never going to arrive. Convince yourself, dive in and take action. Ask yourself why it's not progressing at 9pm as it would first thing in the morning. Let's, let's make this easy. Start one moment on one day, someday. Convert, I will do this tomorrow, today or at that point of time. In short, the next time you say, I will do this tomorrow, just do it on that day and then see what happens. You'll find your day improves and then you get this momentum to achieve other results that you are hoping to maybe achieve that you wouldn't normally. Comment in the boxes and let us know if, you, if this is something that you actually were able to go away and do and you found some results. Okay, the next one is, I don't have the resources I need. Well, start with the ones that you have then. If you get a few extra resources, it's great, but assume you can't. Then start following your passion with your limited resources. You'll find that you get that momentum that does not happen if you're telling yourself, I don't have the resources. And then you don't get started at all, or it just takes ages. Okay, number four. If I say or do X, people will think I'm stupid. The truth is most people don't care if you do X, Y, Z or not. And even if they do, they're going to be far more concerned about what you think of them. The truth is that you're not afraid because other people will think you're stupid or lame or obnoxious. The truth is you're afraid because you will think you are stupid or lame or obnoxious. It's a lie that is born from insecurity or not being good enough. It has nothing to do with how mean or nice people around you are. The people around you are too busy worrying about what you think of them to care. Okay, finally, I would change, but I can't because of X, Y, Z reason. Unless the X, Y, Z reason is I don't really want to do this, then this statement is bullshit. You're making excuses and it's okay. We all do it, but you might as well own up to it. You don't want to change because if you truly wanted it, you would do it. And if you don't want to do it, then that means what's causing you misery is also benefiting you in some unconscious way. The need for importance is one of the most fundamental psychological needs. So we end up holding on to misery rather than risk the failure of change. Okay, challenge time. I mentioned this earlier and it's going to be a challenge if you choose to accept it or not. But the next time you say, I will do this tomorrow, just do it on that day and then go and see what happens. You'll get that momentum, like I said earlier, and then other successes will start to fall into place. Simple challenge, but uh, yeah, go ahead and give it a go. It'll make a difference. Share your challenge experience with us in the YouTube comments, or tag us on Instagram using hashtag Rosa Mindset, and you can do that at Rosa Mindset. 
That's it for today, everyone. Hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed the content, give it a little like. And if you'd like to be notified of when the new episodes are being released, then click that little bell notification. If you'd like me to expand on anything you see, then please comment below and I will look into it. If you think anything could help that you've seen today, then please share it. And finally, come and join us on our community on Instagram, Facebook or LinkedIn. All of the links will be in the description below. This has been Richard Rosa. Stay safe and keep active.